that's how it starts. Welcome to Throne Fits the Afters. We go back to your house. Uncut bonus content for our best friends behind the paywall. This week we're fucking around and getting silly with the host of the Blamo podcast, Jeremy Kirkland. Jeremy, what do you want to say to the homies on patreon.com slash throwing fits? Oof. Where you Oof. at? Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> Mostly in New York, LA, London, Toronto, yeah, Chicago. You're like, come play next door. Yeah. yeah that's Daddy's true. got some fun toys. Yeah. <laughs> you want to yeah, talk, true. you want to talk big boy shit? Yeah. Let's do big boy shit. Whatever you need. Let's oh, go. I meant to uh the the throw gang. They you know they, oh. they go to the Blamo Patreon. Yeah. They just age out and they become your patrons. Dude. It's a nice little pipeline. Yeah, right? I just yeah, I just aged myself yeah. out. Don't like, you want to oh, grandpa? G- guys, don't you want to listen to the pod that your dads are listening to? Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> Do you want to know how your dads are getting therapy over here because of how <laughs> shitty you are? Yeah. Uh Jeremy. Yeah. Would you rather be forced to wear a fossil watch or Kirkland's signature dad shoes for the rest of your life? Oh, Kirkland's signature dad shoes. Yeah. Both of those things sound like not that bad, though. Isn't fossil? I was trying to think when we were doing this. I was like, what is the actual most embarrassing watch? It's brick not watch. Timex. It's brick. Was, besides brick. But brick. it's not yeah. Timex. It's not Casio. Those are all cool. But like fossil to me is like. I would. I will say that like fossils definitely got some real trash out there. <laughs> you don't say. You know, the yeah. Chero watches. <laughs> yeah. Vincero. I'd say like a Nixon watch. Oh, be, oh like a like a, a, a extreme sports like brand. What about like a G, yeah. like a big G Shock? Like G Shocks F- are kind of cool. An right? M M&M and M G Shock. G Shocks are fire. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like the big Kid Cudi ones. Uh, well, the not John Mayer not the, like G-Shock? fifty ones. Yeah, but the, the John Mayer G Shock, man, that thing's it was print money. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So you're gonna go with the the shoes name, your namesake shoes. Why do you have any oh, yeah. Kirkwood signature merch? You know, what's funny is I I was supposed to the logo what, flip is just the we're, logo. We're, we're in the afters here, so. Well, uh, we're still in front of the paywall. Oh, we're still in front of the, <laughs> the paywall. I'll, I'll tell you the story later then. But yeah, there's, the shoes are fucking great. I <laughs> really used to. Yeah. They're Did very you get comfy. a free sample? <laughs> no, I bought them. I tried to like in my eras of me trying to really embrace any sort of uh, like dad core shit. Yeah. Dad core. I went and only wore Kirkland Signature stuff. Oh, damn. And a bunch of it was pretty damn good. Kirkland Signature jeans are actually pretty good. People great. say the white tees are like the best in the game. Why, yeah, the white tees are good. They're Yeah, they're they're good if you like they're. If you're trying to show off the guns or like trying to get fit, it's not good. Okay. Uh, but it's good if you're like, I might sleep in this while yeah. I watch. Oh, football game. okay. Yeah, it's good. Uh, <laughs> For my sleepy time tea, it's your fucking yeah, nightgown. Yeah, with your your... Sleepy, yeah, your little sleepy time outfit. And um, you get a you get a Costco hot dog yeah. while you're at it. Dude, yeah, Costco's I think they become kind of self-aware because like there was that meme or that product now, which is like the box logo crew neck where it's like people which like it's like always they, sold out, by the way. OK, so I guess it is hype. Then. Yeah, it's okay. always sold out every you know, that that's the funny thing is, okay. yeah, because people wear the Kirkland signature stuff and they're all younger folks. Mm. You go like downtown, like wash you kids. Oh, they're all they're rocking wearing, it? like yeah, ironically like, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On their hip shit. So I guess wa- fossil watches aren't that bad, except we are not going to pick them for this question. Correct. OK, got okay. it. <laughs> Jeremy, would you rather only socialize with watch guys or only socialize with menswear TikTok guys? Ooh, <laughs> that's awful. Both and ways. you can't kill yourself as, a, we'll, as a loophole. Hopefully we'll see them both tonight at the Blamo holiday party. Yeah, I know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, if they're jumping into their fits, I'm out. Oh, like that whole like. I don't like when you're like. Here's five ways to wear oh. this Uniqlo sweatshirt, and they just like jump in and do different turns. Oh. It like blows my head off. <laughs> well, it's like here's it. Yeah. You can wear it with the Uniqlo pants. You can wear it with the Zara pants. Yeah, you can wear it with the fucking the Zara joggers. Yeah, Fashion Nova for men. Where all pants. of a sudden they're like, I'm gonna try to be like a Weird Al Yankovic guy of TikTok, and I'm gonna get all creative with different camera angles. And it's right. Like, I step into this. Here's how tall I am. It's just like. Too much production value. So is it? So yeah. is it? You're picking the positive. Uh, I would sorry, the toxic do, positivity of the of the TikTok guys over the toxic masculinity of the watch guys. I would do the toxic masculinity of the watch guys. Yeah. Honestly, the TikTok stuff I can't. And also, at least I can fake it till you make it. I can pretend to know or pretend right. to be upset about a watch that someone's <laughs> losing their shit over. But like the TikTok stuff goes so over my head, or, and I feel so dumb. And it's it's yeah. So we're never gonna see blame on TikTok. <laughs> I made a blame on TikTok. Oh yeah, yeah? is it just a lurk though? It was it was me, and it was me. <laughs> With the Indiana Jones theme song, just like looking at it and smiling really. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. It's like, doo, 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 doo. Um, <laughs> with watch guys, are they typically like most kind of like angry nerd subcultures? Are they mostly like Twitter fingers, no trigger fingers? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think the answer to that is? Well, I want to hear it from the man himself. You just heard the last pod we just did. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so, like, if you if some, if you some run into some guy at an event that was, like, talking big shit, he's going to just be a big pussy yes. IRL? Yeah, or, or that, you know, like, I remember I had met a dude. He was razzing me, and this is on Rolex forms. This is a <laughs> way long time ago. And he was razzing me on stuff. And I met him at like one of the pop-up fleas where Hadinki was. Mm -hmm. And he's like, hey, you remember me? And he was like, you know, he's like, I'm vintage sub, you know, 48. Yeah. And he and I was like, yeah, this guy like was the one who called me out because I asked about like the a dome crystals, shit like that. <laughs> and he was like, you really got to learn your stuff, man. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> I swear to you. This and guy I was a like, fucking paper uh, sales, uh, a child selling newspapers yeah. on the corner in 1944. He worked for Dropbox. <laughs> oh, fire. <laughs> Dome crystal. And he was just like, yeah, you really got to learn your stuff. And so, I was, it was just so fun. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, don't worry, you'll figure it out someday. And he oh. was like, you know, wearing, he's like, I got this one. You know, he's like, this is a Israeli Air Force. This And, and it was just like all oh. this flex stuff. And he was just like, yeah, but you know, when, when it was when I was writing for uh, Esquire and I'd gotten the facts wrong and they had uh, published it. Oh, no. And that, oh, that was. That was another so can of worms. Yeah, I'd, I'd miss, I got the wrong. This is before Paul Newman's were his like, you know, next door knowledge. Sure. Stuff. And I'd gotten someone like, you know, that's not really a Newman, right? That's just that. An exotic dial 242. Oh you know, God. just like, oh, it was so bad. Kill yourself. How Brutal. many times has the watch world come for your ass, though? Twice. Duh. Maybe three or four. Seems, nothing, nothing like the Hidinky thing. This is like they look for every opening, though. Clearly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's the the happiest watch guy is an angry watch guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! You're bulletproof, though. For the full afters with this week's guest and even more bonus content, make sure you check out Patreon.com/slash Throwing Fits. <laughs>